So a really great question that I got the other day was, what is an overlay file? How does it work? And what exactly do we do with that? So when you're building Android, you'll notice a lot of device trees. Here I'm in the device U Yalabi. And uh, this device tree has an overlay folder. And a lot of device trees will. Now when you look in this overlay folder, you see that it has several separate folders as well. Uh, one for framework, one for lineage SDK, and one for packages. If we click on the framework and we go through all the folders until we get to a real file, we find these values and we find this config XML, which I have open right here. Essentially what an overlay file does is it lays over already established settings with something else. So I'm not sure if that made a whole lot of sense, but uh, let's look at an example here uh, that might might uh, help us a little better. Um, all right, here's here's one that we'll take a look at: vibrator pattern for a very short but reliable vibration for soft keyboard tap. So when you push on the keyboard it's supposed to vibrate for a short period of time. Now whatever this is is defined this in integer array or an array of integers or a list of numbers uh, is uh, is given this name of config keyboard tap vibe pattern. So what that means is somewhere in the ROM itself in lineage OS in this case there's already a defined variable called config keyboard tap vibe pattern and it probably has some sort of name in its number array and whatever number it has is not the number that the developer of this phone wants to use so the default number let's just say that it's 32 maybe that's a little too long and this developer wants it to be a shorter tap pattern or maybe it was 20 and he wants a little longer tap pattern um, it doesn't really matter why but the idea is that uh, that this allows you to choose or overlay a new value for an already established um, definition of something so an overlay is literally you're just overlaying something that's already established with a new value that you want it to have instead. Here's a good example. The default color for notification LED is blue. So they put in here this default color that they want. So you could change this default color to be any color you want as the default for the LED. So when they get a notification and the default color is supposed to be blue, you could actually change it to be red if you wanted in your build, or to be yellow or green or something. And that's because this config default notification color is already defined somewhere else in the ROM source code and you're saying, hey, I just want to change that number to be this or that value to be this and it's a uh, type of color and that's why it's cased in this word color and color notice this uh, vibration pattern was integer array and it's cased in integer array and inside that integer array is item item right and this integer array right here actually has several items in it because it's a different type of, uh, of array settings so what you do with an overlay file is uh, you determine something that you want to change that already is established and you give it a new value by adding a line into your config file um, and it that file will depend on what you're trying to overlay so you're trying to overlay something in framework space core res res values so for instance if we go to our lineage and we go to frameworks base core res res values and we should find a config dot xml 
And so we open up this config.xml and we find in here somewhere is these ones which are in here. Now notice not everyone that's in the original config XML is in this new config XML. You're not replacing the file, you're just overlaying some of the values. So only the values we want to change. So for instance, we could choose one. We'll say let's look, control copy, and then we're going to control find that value. So normally that value right here for config screen brightness dark is a number of one, right? But we're going to overlay that. We want the number to be four instead. How about back to our color here of the notification LED, right? We copy that, we find paste in here, and the color is, it looks like white. But instead of white, they actually want it to be blue. And so uh, this developer has changed this overlay file to be appropriate for what they want. So this is really, really handy because it allows you to make a change to a file without changing the source code of Android itself. And this is important because if I wanted, since I downloaded this Lineage 15.1, I could just edit this Framework Space Core Res Res value right now. I could edit this to be anything I want and all the phones that I build off of this thing would be fine with that new color that I just chose. Unfortunately, when I do a repo sync, it's going to say, hey, you changed this file. Do you want to proceed? And if you choose force it and go ahead and proceed to upgrade to the new file, it's going to overwrite that change that I made. And so I'll have to, every time I repo sync, I'm going to have to deal with first off the error that it says, hey, you changed the file that shouldn't have been changed. Uh, what do you want to do about it? Or I'm going to have to edit uh, each file every time after um, forcing the repo sync. And so it's easier just to make the config.xml, which is always going to overwrite those default values with the values that you chose by overlaying them with this new value. And just remember that this overlay is very specific. You put it in the exact set of folders just like you were going to the real deal. Framework space core res res values. Framework space core res res values. Config.xml config.xml. So the file that you want to change some value of, you pick that file, you put in all these folders in the overlay, and then you change whatever value you want to change. And this is a really handy way to do things. Now, you probably have some more questions about this, and that's good because there's a lot of interesting things that can happen. Uh, the first thing to uh, probably comes to mind is, how do I know what to call everything. Well, of course, you're looking in the original file, and literally you can just copy and paste that line to here. Notice it's exactly the same line, except for now with the change value and the addition of the word is blue right here. So it's very easy to, uh, to overlay something. You find what you want to change, you copy that and put it into a so named file, and, uh, and then you change whatever value you want to change very simple and straightforward. But another problem you'll run into is uh, sometimes when building a ROM that's been built for something like say Lineage and then you copy it over and you edit the tree to build in something like OmniROM you run into an odd error where it says let me bring up my web page here um, it'll say an error like this resource does not already exist in overlay at config blah 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 use add resource to add now this by the way this is on my uh, my web web blog here the alaska links user wordpress.com and you can just search literally uh, search for overlay and several options will pop up in several ways that you can um, edit overlays to fix problems like this so when you run into this problem where resource does not already exist in the overlay uh, use add resource to add. You have two choices, two choices, and I cover both of them uh, in depth on my uh, on my blog. But uh, essentially, the long and the short of it is, your two choices are either remove it or use add resource, so you can add that as a new resource. So by default, an overlay file can over 
only overlay something that already exists. So if, for instance, we take this lineage tree and we move it over to OmniROM and there is not, let's say, a uh, default notification color, which I, I believe there is, but let's just say there's not. If there's not, it'll say, hey, this doesn't exist in the base package, use add resource to add. And so now you have a choice. You either delete this line, just take it out, because it's just an overlay. So you're saying, hey, if that exists, I want you to overlay it with this value. And it doesn't exist, so there's no point in having it. You can just delete it. That's fine. Or you can use add resource to add. Now, add resource to add, I cover again on my um, blog there. And you can check that out if you want some examples. But I just copied the basic of the example right here uh, so we can look at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color and let's say we got the error of use add resource to add. And I'm going to put it in here. And it's saying, hey, this doesn't exist. You need to use add resource to add. Well, notice here in the example that I used on my blog is we changed this config device hardware keys hardware wake keys, excuse me, uh, from an integer of 65, we change it to an add resource type. So what you do is you start by saying add resource type. And you're going to add the resource type of what? What type of resource is it? Now remember in the original, this whatever it ends with, this slash color, that's the type. So we can say color. We're going to add a resource type of a color. Now we need a name for that. And what's great is we can just take the name that we have right here. The name for that is going to be config default notification color. This is the new resource that we are adding. We're adding this new resource. Its type is going to be color. We're going to name it. We're going to call it this. And then uh, we have to give it a value, right? So we give it a value. And that value is going to be whatever value you wanted to give it. So in this case, we'll say this one right here. And then we end with this add resource. And that's it. That's how you would change it. So I would actually just copy this whole line, and I would paste it right into here. Instead of having this line, I would put in this line that I just made right here. And that would add that resource to your build. So if you run into a problem where something's in your overlay and it doesn't exist in the ROM, it says you can add that if you want, but you're going to have to use add resource to do it. Now, is it worth doing add resource to do it? Well, that's up to you because, in fact, because it's not in the ROM and you're just adding the resource, it's not going to have any function. It's not going to do anything unless you also go through and change some things to give it a function. But there are situations where you might want to add resource where you have a particular um, setting or a particular file that you're using somewhere else, maybe a special app that you've built for your custom ROM that needs something. And you're going to put it in there even though it's not going to be used by the ROM, but it's going to be used by your custom app or your custom uh, utilities or something like that. So just something to keep in mind, add resource, whether or not you want to do it, that's up to you. You could just delete the line if it doesn't exist, or you can use add resource to add. Hopefully that was uh, a good explanation, and hopefully that helps you uh, figure out uh, what you can do with uh, overlays and, and kind of the basics of how they work.